Hello friends, let's look at problem number 16 from the set of problem that I had uploaded. Now this, this question can be found in the description box below. Mr. Raj deposits rupees 10 lakhs or rupees 1 million and he receives rupees 1 lakh or rupees 100,000 every year for the next 20 years. Find out the rate of interest being offered to the investor. Now, what kind of a problem is this? What what do we know and what do we need to find out? We all now we have to find out the rate of interest. What do we know? We know that Mr. Raj deposits rupees 10 lakhs or rupees 1 million today. So what is that 10 lakhs or 1 million today? That is nothing but the present value. So the present value is rupees 10 lakhs. So he deposits 10 lakhs today and he'll receive 1 lakh every year. So he receives 1 lakh. What is that? What is that amount? 1 lakh every year. That is nothing but the annuity. So he's going to receive 1 lakh rupees, 1 lakh or rupees 100,000 every year for the next 20 years. So we know what is N. N is 20 years. What do we need to find out? We need to find out the rate of interest, K. Okay. So let's formulate first this problem. So present value is equal to annuity into PVIFA. Remember, the moment you see the word annuity, you have to write present value interest factor for an annuity. All right, N, or oh, sorry, K, N. So we know what is the present value. Present value is 1 million or 10 lakhs. Annuity is 100,000 or 1 lakh into PVI, F, A. We need to find out what is K. We know what is N, 20 years. So... P V I F A K twenty years is equal to one million divided by hundred thousand equals to ten. All right. Now we need to find out the rate of interest that corresponds or that is close to the PV factor 10. Now, how do we find out? Again, you look at the table, the present value interest factor for an $1 annuity. So the PVIFA table, you go to the PVIFA table and look at the period. The period is what? 20 years, right? So look at 20 years, okay? 20 years. Now, in this row, look at the value that is close to 10. Now you will notice that 10 lies between these two values 10.594 and 9.8181. So it lies between. Now these values, okay, that corresponds to the period 20, all right, they also correspond to the to these two rate of interest 7% and 8%. That means K lies between 7% and 8%. All right. So from the PVIFA table, PVIFA. 7% 20 years is equal to what is the rate 20 years and 7% it is 10.594 10.594 and PVIFA 8% 20 years is equal to
corresponds to 8%. It is 9.818. 9.818. 9.818. Now, using linear interpolation we get 7% plus 10.594 this value here minus 10 this one that we found out divided by 10.594 minus 9.818 into the difference between these two rates 7 and 8 percent what is the difference between these two it is 1 percent so it is 7 percent plus 10.594 divided by 10, uh, the, sorry, minus 10 is equal to 594. And 10.594 minus 9.818 is equal to 0.776 into the difference 1%. All right, so 7% plus 0.594 divided by 0.776 into 1 is equal to, oops, there's some problem, 0.594 divided by 0.776. 6 equal to 0.765 all right which equals to 7.765 percent or rounded off to 7.77 percent so that is your rate of interest now we know that the rate of interest lies between k lies between seven percent and eight percent how do we find out the exact rate of interest you follow these steps and there you have it all right thank you